Hello, this is Steph, and in this video, I'll teach you how to convert Google Maps into 3D modeling by using Render Docs and Blender. And then we will go over how to import this into 3D Max. So, just to inform you that this process only currently works with Windows, and we will need to download four different programs onto your computer. So, this process was designed by a person named Eli Michelle. He was the one who created the Maps Modeler Importer, which extracts the Google maps into a free 3d file we want to start by downloading this maps modeler 3.2 zip file which is just here this link can be found below secondly we want to open the render doc we want to download this program this link can also be found below this is an open source project for capturing 3d buffer you want to make sure that you download the 1.6 version which can be found here. Next, we want to download the Blender program, and this is where we will build our 3D. This link can also be found below. So you just download it here. All of these programs are free. And lastly, you're going to need the Google Chrome app. We are going to import a 3D buffer from the Google Maps on the Google Chrome. We will start by opening the program Blender. Click Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and find where you've saved the Maps Modeler zip file. So you would go to your document. So this is a zip file, you will select install add-on. Once you've installed it, you would see this that pops up. You will need to make sure that you have this box tipped to enable this. Next, we will set up our Google Chrome. So go to your Windows, type in Chrome, right click, open file location. So we want to make a shortcut on the desktop, so we right click, send to desktop to create a shortcut. Head over to your desktop, now right click and go to properties. You will see that there is an address in the target line, and this is where the Google Chrome is located on your system. Uh, we will need to change this to allow for the debug mode. There is a special bit of text which will need to be pasted into the first half and the last half of the address in the target. This special text can be found below. I've got the text here. So what you will need to do, this address is going to be in the middle. We want to select the first half and copy paste that in the front. Then grab the second half copy paste that at the end. Play OK. So if this worked, you will see that the Google Chrome has uploaded two different screens. One has a number on there. You will need to write this number down and head over to the render doc. Render doc. So you want to go File, Inject, Inject into Process, and write this number down, 4416, yours will be different. Found it, Inject, and it will say Connection Status Established if this has worked. Go back to your Chrome, click OK. And now you can see it is a debug browser. Google Maps, your location. This will go to Melbourne CBD. Click on Melbourne. We want to hide this. Select satellite. 
zoom into where you want to go. Click the world map. If you hold shift, you're able to look around and see what 3D will look like. So now your screen is going to determine how much of this area is extracted. The closer in, the better quality. So for this instance, we will grab this much of the CVD. If you want to go back to the rendered dock, capture frame immediately, select back into Chrome and wiggle this around to activate it. If you head back, you will see that it has come up here. Double click and this should pop up on the left hand side. This means that you have done it correctly. So now go to File, Save Capture As, and name it. Save. And this will save in our DC into a folder. Now we'll go back into Blender. You can close this. File, import, Google Maps, go and find where you just saved it. There it is, import, Google Maps. This might take a second to upload. Okay, so there it is. Now you're able to delete the default cube and select viewport shading. This will enable all the textures. As you can see, there is my boom. So you'll actually notice that this is quite small, so we need to enlarge this 50 times by doing this you grab everything select s drag outwards put 50 enter that should be the right scale now now we want to export this as an object file so we can import into max go file export into an object file save it So you want to go export object file. Now you can go to max file import import Melbourne new open. All this default should remain the same. Import. And there you have it, Melbourne. Thank you for your time.